welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. So thanks for joining me at my desk today. I am crocheting a lemon and my sissy girl is laying on the picture. She'll probably move in a minute and you can see what the lemon is supposed to look like. But I thought I would just, um, just jump right in and start crocheting another art doll head. And so this is a lemon for a lemon head doll. And I am just working away on it. Getting in some little stitches on this particular row that I'm working on. It's three single crochets and then an increase. And this is coming from the book Too Cute Amigurumi. I did show this book in a little look through. Um, maybe yesterday. I don't know. If you look at my YouTube homepage, uh, you'll see. Because I showed the book in the thumbnail. But yeah, I'm just crocheting along here. It's a little bit of a slow go. But I'm getting it. I'm getting it done. It has been quite interesting and challenging learning to crochet since my um, last finger surgery was March the 1st. So it has been, um, you know, interesting. It's been challenging. It hasn't been easy <laughs> learning to crochet with, you know, missing another finger. Uh, has not been easy, that's for sure. But I did it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, okay? <laughs> I don't I'm not a quitter. I don't give up so easy. I'm I'm stubborn and hard headed. You can just ask Big Daddy about that and he will tell you just how stubborn I can be. But it's taken it's taken a lot of time, like just learning to do lots of things after that surgery and you know, I'm having more difficulty doing things that I need to be able to do. But, it's hard to admit I can't do some things. <laughs> like, you know, picking up things and I'm having trouble with that. Because you, you don't have a good grip. Like, to pick up heavier and wider objects, you just don't have a good grip with that right there. But, um, the other night, we... We're headed home and we decided to stop at the, a little Walmart market to pick up a couple of things just for, that we needed for this week. Um, we had did a big grocery haul um, the last weekend. But then, you know, you use things. And so, <laughs> um, one of the things we needed, we needed some eggs, milk, and when I did that grocery haul... <laughs> oh, I laughed at myself. Okay, you're just looking at the pictures online, you know, on your Walmart website. You're just looking at the pictures and, you know, supposedly you're reading before you click add to the cart. Well, I obviously just look at pictures and I don't read. <laughs> I picked out the butter that looked like the butter that we get. We got home and was emptying the, you know, groceries and putting them away. The butter was a little old bitty. It was little bitty, about like that. I mean, seriously. It was doll size. But it looked just like the big container that we usually buy. So that was quite funny. When I pulled that out, I just laughed. And Big Daddy said, did we get the wrong, did they give us the wrong one? I said, I probably ordered the wrong one. Because I just clicked. I didn't read. <laughs> That's the story of my life. Just click, click, click. No reading. But anyway, so we did stop at Walmart and picked up a few things. Um, we probably had, I don't know, five or six bags. Because we ended up getting a few things that we didn't know we needed until we saw them. So we get, to, we get home. And we have to carry things uh, a little ways. And so we do have a wagon that we could use. But Big Daddy's stubborn and he don't like to use the wagon. Because that's just too much, you know, too much trouble. 
And so he got as much as he could get. And I had a couple of bags of things, you know, that I was bringing in from the day. And he said, here, you take the eggs. Okay. And so I get the eggs, the bag of eggs. And I'm headed, you know, we head to the house. Um, and it's been raining. And so we just having to park, like, further away from the house. And, you know, walking up. And so we get to the house and he he unlocks the door without going up the doorsteps. He just walks over and uh, reaches up and unlocks the door with his keys. So I'm going up the steps and right when I'm going up the steps, well, I dropped the whole 18 count carton of eggs <laughs> on the concrete steps. Yeah, I, I mean, whose idea was it for me to carry eggs? Like, do you not realize I drop everything? <laughs> he said, how did that happen? Well, how do you think it happened? <laughs> I have a thumb and a pinky. So anyway, that was funny. And I, I mean, I just laughed about it because what else can you do? But, so now we need to, we still need to go get eggs. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, yes, this is Sissy, our little bitty kitty. She she looks like a little kitten, but we've had her over a year, and I don't know how old exactly she was when we got her. They said four to six months, maybe. But, um, she's a sweet little thing. I mean, she does, if I pet her, she's going to bite me. But <laughs> she is a sweet and precious little thing. And no, she does not have a tail. She's a Manx. Um, so she doesn't have a tail at all. Now, Sassy has a little bit of a tail. She has a tail about that long. But Sissy here, she doesn't have any anything for a tail. So she's looking up through a... Um, the bottom side of a magnifying glass looking up. Um, what was funny, one day, I was sitting here crocheting, and there's a shelf right here. Right here is a shelf. Um, and it has my monitors sitting on it, my computer monitor and everything. Well, Sassy likes to get up there and lay. If I have so much stuff here and she can't get here, she'll get up there and lay down. And so one day I was sitting here crocheting, and I just happened to realize that she was laying there on the shelf looking through the magnifying glass watching me crochet. <laughs> I don't know. I was up close and personal for her, I guess. I don't know, but it was funny when I realized that she was watching me through the magnifying glass crocheting. And someone asked this question. Sassy gets up here and lays a lot in my videos. And somebody asked about what was the spot on Sassy. She, she is solid black. She does not have any light spots on her. What it is is this. Sometimes that just shines on her black fur. And it just makes a little spot. An orangey spot or a lighter looking spot. But she is solid, solid black. And sassy, sissy here is white and black. So she, you can pet her, but then she wants to bite you. And so I'm just trying to get her out of that. No, sissy, let me pet you. No bite, no bite. She's not biting hard. She's just getting her teeth on me. No bite. It's the, it's the, it's the claws that hurt. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, little girl. It's okay. Let me just pet you. I don't know really how to break her from that. But she always, anytime you pet her, she wants to bite you. And like I said, she is over, she's about a year and a half old. Well, we got her in January of 2023. So we've had her, 
well over a year. January would have been 12 months. February, March. So we've had her 14 months. And they say she was about five or six months when we got her. So she is really like getting close to two years old. Um, 16, 18, 19. Yeah, I mean, she's really getting close to two years old. So she's not a kitten. <laughs> By no means, she's not a kitten. Okay, so here is the little lemon that I am crocheting, minus the legs. But I am going to put a face on it, and that is going to be on a doll body. So it's a um, for an art doll. So that's what I'm working on. And so my next row, I got to put four single crochets and then an increase. So that is what I'm working on slowly but surely. What are you guys up to this week? Um, it's Monday here for me as I am recording this Monday morning. So what do you guys plan on doing this week? You got anything special going on? I do not have anything special going on this week um, that I can recall. And, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I think, I see Friday is Good Friday. Do y'all have any plans for Good Friday or the Easter weekend? We just don't have any plans that I'm aware of at all. Um, I don't guess the kids would be coming over. I mean, Elijah's living in, you know, he moved out of state and, um, I don't, I don't guess Dakota's coming. We haven't talked about it. We hadn't made any plans. So as far as I know, we don't have any plans. <laughs> Two, three, four. Okay. Now I got to do an increase. And so... Nothing exciting going on here for the week for Easter plans. Um, today, we are expecting severe weather, like strong to severe weather. And actually, we are in the severe weather spot that they have shown. So, that's coming today. I hope it doesn't get too bad. I hope we don't lose electricity or... You know, I just, I just hope that everyone stays safe and there's no injuries or anything from it. But, yeah, and I know some of you get the same weather I get, either before me or after me. <laughs> so it's going to pass through all of us, probably. But, yep. And I wanted to say, Juanita, I see you. I know, I know what you're, what you did. I see you and I know that you went back because you wasn't wasn't able to you went back and watched every video and i appreciate that so much i see you and i see others too i just really appreciate that um becky i see you <laughs> oh becky's a doll friend uh we collect some of the same dolls and so yeah I see you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know I know, a lot of you guys watch every video, and I see that. I do. It doesn't go unnoticed. I appreciate it so much. I know sometimes, you know, life gets busy, and, you know, you can't watch every video, and I totally understand that, too, because my life gets busy just the same. And, um, you know, so sometimes I have to go play catch-up on some of my favorite people's and get their videos watched, um, you know, and then there's just sometimes that, um, I can't sit down and just watch the whole video, I have, you know, have things I gotta get done, um, I'll watch, I'll put on some people's, um, videos while I am cleaning here in the same room, I can hear, I can hear them, and then if I need to, I can pop my head over, you know, and look. If I if I hear them saying they're showing something, I'll pop my head over this way and look. Especially if I'm cleaning the bathroom. I have to look out and see <laughs> what they're showing and doing. But um, 
I, I, so I get it. I mean, I know that life, life gets busy and you just can't watch every video, especially when they're long videos, like a lot of mine are, because I'm just chatting and enjoying visiting with you guys. So anyway, I appreciate you all watching. I really do. And I appreciate you going over and watching my son Dakota's channel. Um, it is linked in the description box under this video. If you don't know about his channel. But I think he did really good for his first live last night. That was his first live ever. The first one messed up because his phone was overheating. And so he had to start a take two of it. And I think it went, I think it went really well. I was just kind of hanging back, watching, and um, just enjoying it. I really was. I was enjoying it. And then this morning, I was laughing at him. <laughs> when I watched this, this morning's video of him cutting up those onions and crying. <laughs> Crying, cutting up onions. That was hilarious. Poor kid. <laughs> okay, so let me just tell y'all this little fun fact about Big Daddy. Back when our kids were little, when, when they both lived at home, you know, were younger. Big Daddy did a lot of cooking. And so he... And he, he Big Daddy has always watched cooking shows all the time. He loves cooking shows. So when he would cook dinner, he would like, he was sitting there, and we're standing there in the kitchen, like he was doing some kind of cooking show. And he would talk like Julia Childs, but his name was The Dark Skillet. Like, there's, there's this whole show that went on at my house every day of the dark skillet cooking. <laughs> and so, he and dark skillet would talk in a Julia Child's voice. It was just funny. It's hilarious. So, my kids grew up with a dark skillet cooking their meals. <laughs> and so, um, Dakota was telling his... Telling the lady at the bakery that he works with about his YouTube channel and, you know, what he's doing and all that. And she said, oh, you should have guests. You should have guest chefs on there with you sometimes. Guest people on there cooking. And so Dakota was telling this, this, and he's like, here's your chance, Dark Skillet. <laughs> oh, gosh. It was so funny, because it, I mean, my kids really grew up with dark skillet cooking, and then Dakota's like, here's your chance, dark skillet. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, Big Daddy has always did a Julia Child's cooking show, but he called himself the dark skillet. But anyway, so anytime he was cooking in there, he was, he was cooking as if he was cooking for an audience. And tell it about his ingredients that's going in and all that kind of stuff. So, he cooked and we just all kind of just laughed, you know, enjoyed the entertainment. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, I don't know if the Dark Skillet will make an appearance on Dakota's um, channel or not. Maybe Dark Skillet needs to cook something here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I did tell the dark skillet, <laughs> Big Daddy, I did tell him that he should read one of his stories to y'all here on my channel. Let's record him reading one of his stories. Um, I don't know if you know this, but he writes short stories all the time. He used to write for a magazine called The Bayou Life, and just life got busy and he kind of got away from that doing that but he enjoyed doing it let me count this one two three four i think i did not increase where i should have but anyway um so he does write these short stories and so he was we were driving in the car and he was trying to figure out which one would he read and share with you guys and he kept naming different ones 
and he said, um, one of the doctors that he works with, um, read one of them and said, I ain't cried in a long time, but that made me cry. And then Big Daddy said, I cried while writing it. And I said, don't, don't put anything sad. Don't read a sad one. <laughs> and he said, well, they're all sappy. They're, he said, they're designed to stir emotion. So I was like, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. I don't care for sadness. So I don't know if he's going to read one or not. I don't really want him to read a sad, sappy story and everybody be crying. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And y'all know I can't talk and crochet at the same time. I mean, I can't, I can talk and do like double crochets, but when you have to increase and stuff like that, you kind of need to pay attention to what you're doing. Anyway, um, so if y'all are in favor of Big Daddy reading a sad, sappy story, since he said they're all sad and sappy, um, I, I quit reading them after a while because they were sad and sappy. I used to read them and edit them for him, but then, I don't know, I got tired of reading them. <laughs> Uh, they're they're mostly hunting stories. A lot of his are. He does have one that's about two trees that um is family is it's a family story. I'd like for him to read that one. Because that's the one me and the boys ended up um having printed for him and put into a book. So he would have a book of that. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to him some more about it and see what we can actually do. Let me see. Where did I increase? Right there. One. Sissy's back. Three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's right. One, two. Just making sure I had enough spaces left. I think I do. One, two, three. Oh no, Sissy's all over here today. I don't know where Sassy's at. She must be asleep somewhere. Otherwise, she would be all up here. Okay, now I gotta get an increase in this one right here, and that little stitch was trying to hide. Uh, sometimes this does get a little tough for me, and a little bit, a little bit tough. Right now, I just haven't gotten this tension just right, and it's not the tension, it's not this string, the tension, it's keeping this tight. So I've had lots of suggestions about this string, but it's keeping this loop on the hook. You got to keep that tight with amigurumi or you'll have gaps. So the trick is trying to keep that tight while I'm trying to <laughs> I just want to make sure I do the right thing. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I got, um, increase in that stitch right there that I just did. Yeah, so I gotta get back in there. And see, that's when that loop kind of gets big. I'm trying to keep that loop tight. <laughs> It's just a trial and error and trying to figure out what works for my, you know, odd hands. And, um, what I think, though, some, you know, some people have suggested lots of things. 
and that's great. I love that. I love that. I love the suggestions. But um, when you have all your fingers, things might work a little bit differently for for you. <laughs> I found that out. But yeah, I'm I'm trying, and I think it's just I gotta find what's comfortable, and what works. And sometimes things um, are very uncomfortable for me, and I can see you know this don't work. And the little ring things, I it will not fit my thumb. I can put one on my pinky, but I could I can't get it to. It doesn't help me. It's a hindrance. It's a hindrance, and I'm finding that's what most things are, is a hindrance. So, I'm just doing it the old, you know, way as best that I can. And I'm worried about that also. If I was to get prosthetics, would it be a hindrance or help? And that's why I'm hesitant to do it because I wouldn't want to go through all that and pay whatever I'm going to have to pay, which I don't imagine is going to be anything cheap. Um, I just want to make sure that it's something that I'm actually going to be able to use and it's going to be helpful and not a hindrance. So that's why I'm not, I'm just not jumping into anything right now because right now I'm trying to get used to these hands and learn to do. You know what I'm saying? And so I've got a lot of learning and experimenting to do on my own before I involve something like that. But it's in the back of my mind. I'm thinking about it, but I just don't want to jump and do something that is not necessary or is not as needed. I, I don't want to waste money. And so I just want to make sure that... um you know, it's something that's going to be helpful and not a hindrance to me. So that's that's my, you know, and it's not, it ain't even been a whole month yet. So I'm just not jumping into anything just yet. But I'm taking notes and keeping, you know, things in mind of what I might can do. Uh-oh. And where, you know, where to look and stuff like that. So, yeah. Alright. Oh, that was exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it does get that way. So, on my next row, I am just doing single crochets all the way around. No increases. So, that's good. So, yeah, I am... Making that little lemon. Oh, and so my, about my son Dakota. Okay, so his name is Morgan Dakota, and we just always called him Morgan. I mentioned that in maybe yesterday's video. Michelle told me her daughter's name is Morgan Dakota, and their last name starts with an M. So isn't that funny? Yeah, so she is Morgan Dakota also. That is funny. Interesting that, you know, and I didn't name him. His daddy named him um, without consent from me. <laughs> I didn't even know his name till the nurse mentioned it. And I was like, where did you get those names? And come to find out, Big Daddy named him. And he is named after Morgan Earp, after the Earp brothers. And Elijah is White Earp. I mean, not, Earp is not in their name, but he is named after White Earp. There's um, Morgan Earp and White Earp, and they had a couple more brothers. They had a couple more brothers, and um, I'm afraid Big Daddy would have went on down that line. <laughs> But we have, you know, Morgan Dakota and Elijah White. And somebody mentioned Dakota. Why doesn't he have a southern accent? It's probably because he works really hard not to. He probably works really hard not to because Dakota 
lives uptown. He doesn't live in the country. <laughs> no, it's probably because... Oh, Phoebe. There's nobody here. Shh. There's nobody here, baby. Dakota grew up watching British shows, Brit TV. Um, he's all about the royals and um, just watching Brit shows. Yeah, he has Brit TV. And he's always enjoyed, like, the British show. So, yeah, that's that's probably why he's not, he doesn't sound Southern. Hey, stop it, Phoebe. There's nobody here, baby. I don't know why she thinks somebody's here. Nobody went down the road. But the wind is blowing a little bit out there. So she might hear something. She might hear the wind blowing or something. Sassy, are you making sure I do... I mean, Sissy. Are you making sure I do this right? Ugh. I'm trying to make sure I do it right, Sissy. <laughs> Keeping this, the loop on my, yeah, it's hard for Emma Groomies because you got to do your stitches tight. If you do loosey-goosey, then your stuffing will show through and it won't look well. So it's a little bit tricky when you don't have any tension there, you know, and you're trying to keep that tight. Sissy's just like intensely watching me here. What do you think, Sissy? Am I doing it right? Oh yeah, I hear the wind chimes outside. That's probably what Phoebe barked at. She probably thinks it was um, our little friend. Z-E-K-E. -E. I can't say his name or she'll think he's coming. Um, but he's at homeschool co-op today, so I know he's not coming down. But if Phoebe knows he's coming, if I tell her that he is coming, she will go over to the door and stand and bark and bark and bark until he gets here. Because she's always so excited that he's coming. Or if one of my boys call and I have them on speakerphone, because I don't, I don't hold my phone. I just turn the speakerphone on and lay the phone down. Because if I hold it, I'm going to drop it. And she hears them talking. She thinks they're at the door. And she goes to the door going crazy because she thinks one of her boys are here. <laughs> and while they are here, she has to be in their lap the whole time. She thinks they just come to visit her. She misses her boys. As much as I do. Um, Sissy, did you get tired of watching me? <laughs> I think she did. I can't wait to complete some of these little dolls. What I'm doing is just, I'm making some amigurumi heads. And then I'm probably going to sit down at the table. And all at one time with all my beads and charms and stuff out. And Big Daddy as my hands. And sit there together. <laughs> and create the dolls. You know, like putting them together and adding the charms and beads and all that kind of stuff. I think that's what we might end up doing because, I don't know, we might not. I was just thinking because it would be easier if I'm sitting there, if we're sitting there together talking about my vision for that doll. But anyway... Guys, I hope you all have a great Monday. If you have bad weather, I hope you stay safe. I am kind of keeping up with it. 
watching it and seeing when it's supposed to hit and you know I, I need to do a few things there's something I need to go outside and try to move a box before the wind gets it so I might try to do that I was hoping Big Daddy would get home before the bad weather started but I think it's gonna be earlier than that It'll start while he's still at work, I believe. Um, but anyway, yep, hope you have a great day. And this is our first day to kick off the week. I do have some, um, you know, different kinds of videos that's going to be coming out this week. So, and it's the last week of the month. So, anything I was planning on doing for March... I better do it <laughs> get it done i've got to put my face on my baby blanket so that's coming up we just got um gotta get it done right get her done all right guys i'm gonna let y'all go remember it's a beautiful day to crochet no matter if it is storming it still is a beautiful day to crochet <laughs> Uh, see you all in the next video. Bye, friends. Sissy girl. Oh, she will sissy baby. No bite. No bite. No. 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 No bite. Oh, well. <laughs>